Hi guys, in this lecture we will discuss about DC generators. In this series, we will learn the concepts like these content, principle of operation of DC generator, construction details of a DC generator, types of DC generators, and armature winding connections, how much EMF generated if it's generator, and there are some reactions, armature reaction effect, how it is affected in a armature. And what are the different improvement methods for commutation, characteristics of a DC generator, parallel operation of a DC generator, finally the applications of a DC generator. In this series of DC generators, we will cover these concepts in different lectures. So in today's lecture, we will discuss about the principle of operation of DC generator and construction of a DC generator. In the next lecture, we will discuss about the types of DC generators, right? Okay, first of all, what is a generator? Generator is a rotating device. Generator is a rotating device which converts from mechanical energy into electrical energy. Generator which converts mechanical energy into electrical energy. Okay, how it will be converts from mechanical to electrical? because of based on the principle of electromagnetic induction so already in the previous lectures we discussed about the faraday's law of 1 faraday's law 2 these are the electromagnetic induction laws first of all main working principle is an electrical generator is based on the principle that is when a rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field then an EMF will be induced across that conductor which will cause a current to flow if the conductor circuit is closed if there is a conductor okay there is a rotating conductor there is a rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field okay there are two parameters first one is magnetic field north to south magnetic lines are passing from north to south this is the magnetic flux so i have two permanent magnet pieces i developed a magnetic field constant magnetic field second part is rotating conductor so i have a conductor i placed here then it will be moved or rotated in a constant magnetic field then what happens because of the faraday's law one there will be a emf induced across the conductor okay there is a emf induced across the conductor so from this principle i will say you one second i will remind you the faraday's laws so how to remind how to remember this principle there are two parameters first one is magnetic flux second one is conductor resultant is emf right magnetic flux is constant i develop a constant magnetic flux conductor is moving then what happens emf will be induced okay this is a dynamically induced emf dynamically induced emf because moving conductor if magnetic flux is moving if magnetic flux is moving then conductor should be constant then also emf induced right if either parameter is constant one of the parameter is constant and another one is the moving then emf will be induced so if second part is moving flux and constant conductor then also emf induced that is statically statically induced emf okay i hope you can understand this principle okay now coming to this generator principle once again i'm remembering when a rotating conductor okay rotating conductor placed in a magnetic field this is a magnetic field then an emf will be induced across that conductor right see here and the, uh, the direction of the induced emf in the direction of the induced emf or current direction will be known from the Fleming's right hand rule. 
we can find the direction of the current from the Fleming's left hand rule, right hand rule. So, generate for generator, Fleming's right hand rule. So, already this is also uh, discussed in the previous lectures. Okay, this is the working principle. Now, we will discuss about the construction. How do you construct a machine? So, to construct a machine, mainly we need there are two parts. Main important parts, stator and rotor. So, we need mainly two parts, stator and rotor. Stator means the parts, stationary parts comes under the stator, rotating parts comes under the rotor. The combination of stator, stationary parts will be called as stator. The combination of rotating parts, all rotating parts will be known as the rotor. See here, there is a diagram. This is a DC machine. This is the, this gray color, gray color indicates the outer frame that is also called as yoke okay yoke this is a field pole so like this there are extra three poles so overall four poles are fixed to the outer frame this is the north pole south pole north pole south pole so two north poles two south poles are fixed to a outer frame okay these are the field poles next one the each field pole consists field winding that is a field winding each field pole consists of field winding and these are the stationary parts and road coming to the rotating parts shaft is also a rotating part commutator also a rotating part armature conductors also called a rotating part pole shoe is also a very important part this is used to form a magnetic field with uniform now observe the right side diagram see here sealed ball bearings okay ball bearings also one of the important part armature brushes commutator frame or yoke outer frame or yoke pole shoe field windings shaft these are the parts so i will explain you clearly the each and every part with the function and the material this is the construction of a dc machine if you observe this diagram these are the important parts okay coming to the stationary part first we will discuss about the stationary parts so stationary part is used to develop a magnetic field here we are developing the magnetic field with the with respect to the electrical so this is called electromagnetic field these are not a permanent magnets these are the electromagnets electromagnets to develop a electromagnetic field we need pole core with the pole windings so this is complete a set of field windings See here, these are the field bindings we represent like a lines and pole core. This is the pole core. Center one is the pole core. These outer parts are the pole bindings, I mean field bindings. And outer frame is called yoke. These are the supporting poles or interpoles. So there are two brushes. Those are the comes under stationary part, pole shoe and coming to the rotor part. Rotor part consists of shaft armature conductors and commutator commutator segments and these are the parts now we will discuss in depth magnetic frame or yoke outer frame or yoke it provides mechanical support of the poles and acts as a protecting cover for hold the machine it carries the magnetic flux produced by the poles the material used for yoke is cast iron silicon steel okay so this yoke is a outer frame which protects a machine from the basement and sub poles poles will be fixed to a outer frame yoke will protects from the leakage flux if there is a leakage flux it will carry the leakage flux and the main thing material is the cast iron second pole core pole shoes to generate electromagnetic field we need a pole core and we need a field winding okay then when we give you a field excitation or supply to this coil then electromagnetic field will be generated across the coil so this iron core this is the iron core that is also called pole core then we need field coils so field coil will be wounded to the this pole core then connected to the excitation exited then connect the excitation 
are resupply then the magnetic field will be developed to this pole like this there are four poles in this machine pole shoe one of the important part is pole shoe the shape is like horseshoe so this is a pole shoe this is very useful to carry the magnetic flux with the uniform next pole core pole core is made up of cast iron or cast steel and windings field windings will be made up of copper made up of copper next to another stationary part brushes and bearings brushes are made up of carbon material these are the carbon or graphite these brushes are to collect the current from the commutator what is commutator commutator is a converting device which converts ac to dc or dc to ac for a generator which converts alternating current into direct current uh, and for motor direct current into alternating current so initially in the generator it is developed alternating supply then commutator will converts dc supply ac to dc how which converts will be discussed in the further classes there is a class commutator class so how it will commutate from ac to dc next armature windings armature windings are made up of copper material these are the these windings are housed in a slots armature slots uh, we will see armature slots this is the armature core this armature core consists of slots so each slot we will wound a winding in each slot we wound a winding this complete core part is not a solid part this armature core is a laminated part so each laminated sheet there are number of laminated sheets so we will combine these are all laminated sheets into a solid system then the armature core will be created so see here this is a keyway keyway to fix to the shaft and these are the air holes these holes are the air holes to circulate the air this is a single laminated sheet so in each slot we will carry a armature winding see here so armature winding will be placed in the armature slots so there are two types of windings in armature winding lab winding and wave winding in lab winding number of parallel paths always equal to p for wave winding number of parallel paths is always equal to 2 so the application lap winding will be used for high high current and low voltage applications wave winding is used for high voltage low current applications like uh, lap winding is used for welding plants welding plants and wave winding is used for restaurants and sh small shops so this is all about the construction of a machine so there are many number of parts in a dc machine but these parts are the important parts and remaining parts i mean terminal box like bolts and everything are the not uh, that much of important so these are the important parts in a dc machine i hope you can understand the construction of a dc machine if you have any doubts please comment in the comment box if you need this material then please comment your mail id i will send your mail id thank you guys thank you very much Oh, 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 oh,